Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Shanika and here on my channel, I provide cleaning content, um, focusing on realistic cleaning and just simplifying cleaning, a little bit of lifestyle and motherhood um, and business incorporated into that. And whether you are in a season of thriving or just surviving, there is always a place for you here on this channel. So I'm so glad that you are here. We are continuing our spring cleaning. This is part three and we have just migrated over into the living room. In today's video, I am going to be focusing on deep cleaning the couch um, scrubbing down the walls, dusting the walls first, and then scrubbing them down and collecting all of the trash cans um, throughout the house and getting those wiped out. Now, these things, honestly, I would rather, um, you know, or hope to do them twice a year, but life happens. So if you're only able to do it once a year, hey, why not do it to prepare for spring? So um, I am just stripping the couch and as I was taking the pillows out, um, I noticed that the pillows, some of the pillowcases were filled with feathers. Normally I just spot clean these pillows, but I decided to actually, you know, throw the pillowcases or pillow covers into the wash and the ones that house the feather of field um, pillows it was a mess so i did decide to just take them over off to the side and um, dump it on the kitchen floor so i could just sweep it instead of getting feathers all over the living room but it was a mess and i probably will not be doing that again i'll just stick to spot cleaning um just to keep the feathers from getting you know everywhere all over everything it's over. We used to talk about getting older. We said we hold on, but now it's over. It can't be over. I would find lots of snack wrappers and things um, in the chair. I do try to keep the kids from, you know, eating anywhere outside of the kitchen and dining room, things like that, but it happens. So <clears throat> it is what it is. I am just going to clean that up. I'm going to start off with vacuuming before I take my Folex and, you know, get rid of the stains that i'm seeing on the frame before putting the cushions back and cleaning those so what i've noticed myself doing is 
I will clean the frame of the couch every other time. So on this time, I did clean the frame as well as all of the cushions. But the next time that I clean the chair, I'll just focus on the cushions. So it won't be as much. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go in, vacuum, spot clean, um, try to get rid of any stains that I see using my Folex. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull out my Bissell Little Green to go ahead and start cleaning i think i had to dump it probably like three times i will say i really love this little green for my upholstery but it is very small so you do have to you know keep emptying it but it's really not a big deal for me i feel like it's super you know lightweight it's easy to use so i highly recommend it um and yeah so cleaning this entire couch as like frame cushions everything i think i had to dump the water two or three times and i will um, give you a glimpse into that because even though i try and do this twice a year it's still pretty gross so you will be seeing that um in a few good enough give me a chance Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two Hope you're fine, ain't got time To do everything you said you would Frames of the past and The memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile and the power I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken apologize for the awkward angles y'all i was really focused on what i was doing and then i kept catching myself like okay shanika get your butt out the camera <laughs> so i was trying to you know make sure you guys could see but make sure that i was doing a really really good job at the same time um, so I did, you know, catch myself here and there like, okay, move the camera, okay, reposition your body so your butt isn't all in the camera. So I apologize, y'all, but I was taking this very serious. I was very focused. As you can see, I'm biting on that lip. I am going all the way in, okay? And this is the first dump from just the frame, y'all. That was just from the frame. We haven't even gotten to the cushions yet. So, um, I did post that little clip on my socials, like my Instagram, my Facebook, and I had people comment and like, it's just so crazy how we're into, you know, cleaning and just seeing, you know, nasty couch water. 
because I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, it was just so satisfying. The whole time I was cleaning the couch, I was just like, I can't wait to see what this water is gonna look like. <laughs> I'm so ready to just look at it and just pour it out because I just feel like it's so crazy. Like, no matter how much you clean, no matter how much you try to take care of your home and just stay on top of everything, it's still so much underlying dirt. You know, it's never enough. Like, taking care of your home is a full-time job. And um, oddly enough, it's extremely satisfying for me. So now we're going to just keep the ball rolling and we're going to go ahead and scrub those cushions as well. Um, and that was mainly all that I wanted to do for day one um, because I had some, you know, I had other things I needed to take care of. But I did also just go ahead and tidy up the living room. You know, I ended up wiping down the tables off camera and you know picking all the feathers and stuff up dusting the blinds shaking the curtains you know refreshing the curtains um i did have the windows open just airing it out um and i've just been making a point to do that going through each room open the windows throughout the day um so the home isn't so stuffy um you know fall winter we haven't really aired the house out that well so i did want to just take the time to open the windows and it also helped to dry the couch quicker as well I am adaptable. I am adaptable. 
try to include cleaning out the little window catch and window seal area during my spring cleaning if you've been you know follow me for the what almost three years or maybe three years I've been on YouTube um, I've taken three um, hiatuses in those three years so it's kind of like I'll be here six months leave six months be here six months leave six months but anyway, I'm trying. Um, new year, new me. But um, normally I will include the windows in my spring cleaning. But I'm not even going to kid y'all. Like, I just really do not have it in me um, to do it this year. As I've been opening the windows to air it out, um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of buildup. You know, it's a dead bug here, here and there that I have to get out but um I just think maybe putting it off isn't going to be like the worst thing in the world but I just really just don't have it in me nowadays to to do that but if you want to do that by all means go ahead so it is the next day and I wanted to start by going ahead and scrubbing the trash cans out both of the trash cans were full so I'm just going to empty those for our recycling, we do use um, like reusable bags. So once it fills, we take it outside, we dump it, toss that bag in the wash, and then I'll replace it with another reusable bag. And it works out well for us. So we're not going through even more um, plastic bags. So to clean out the trash cans i am just going to vacuum up you know anything at the bottom there wasn't anything spilled in the main trash can but there was water in the recycling trash can but luckily it has a removable bottom so i'm just going to get anything out of the bottom of those trash cans and then i'm going to be using some soapy water to scrub the trash cans inside and out and of course I am using Dawn, um, but the little bottle that I have my Dawn in is a game bottle. So instead of having to keep, you know, buying plastic bottles, I just buy the big jugs um, at Sam's Club and I just refill it that way. But um, it is Dawn. The bottle is gonna say game, but I'm using Dawn.
got me feeling blue Something but you so see through Something just ain't right for you Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, yeah. I'm a rule, yeah. Turn up for the night. the night. Real thing, she's no average girl. Too fine, oh, she might. She's so yeah. damn fine. I just wanna call on you. Call Money on just you. fall on you. Another thing I won't do. Ooh, yeah. 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 I just wanna call on you. Let me do it all for you Let me do Can't nobody ball on you Ooh you. yeah eh. She the girl in my visions Now that I found you I'm fiending for all your attention girl, Yeah you Hope attention. you don't mind if I give you a tour of my mansion Yeah All of this for you babe Nothing I won't do babe Weak for your love Everywhere we go it they be alright yeah. Can't help it with your body Just wanna make you happy I just wanna call on you Money just fall on you Not a thing I won't do Ooh yeah I just wanna call on you Let me do it all for you Can't nobody ball on you Ooh yeah Yeah up for the night, the night yeah. real thing she's no average yeah. girl too fine oh she might so give up yeah. on the baggage the girl is making my mouth you got too much going on in that mind let me help you yeah, yeah. i'm just using let me give you the moments in your life to step to fly away together but Can't it, help it with your body it Just, it just wanna make you so happy I just wanna call on you call Money up. just fall on to you just Not the thing I won't do Ooh yeah, yeah. yeah. I just wanna call on you Let me do it all for you Can't nobody ball on you Ooh yeah 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 it's not coming off with the mop i do have a little um piece of magic eraser on hand that i'm going to be using to try and get the um marks off as well Drown out the rain, but will it make sense? 
so I've really been just in one of those moods where I feel like I need a change like I'm tired of everything looking the same around the house and you know I know a lot of people say well you know um, it's good to shop your home especially when you're on a budget but I just don't feel like I have anything to the things that I would like to change the living room. Um, I'm kind of over the dark burgundy and burnt orange and I really want to brighten this area up even more and I think I want to do that by replacing the burgundy and burnt orange with white. So trying white curtains, white pillows, maybe adding a white throw um, blanket in the mix just to see if I can kind of wake this area up just a little bit. I'm not completely sold on it, but I really don't want to do any more colors. I just kind of want to bring it down a notch and go kind of neutral. So I have just been thinking about replacing the burnt orange with um, white and then replacing the curtains with white curtains instead of burgundy but i don't know we'll see but i am just going to continue to tackle these walls in here and then i will be done with the deep cleaning that i wanted to do in this particular area i would love to do the rug but my carpet cleaner isn't working right now and i need a replacement so i'm going to have to wait on that but as always, um, I want to thank you guys for being here. If you have not had a chance to subscribe, please make sure you do so. Also, make sure you like the video and leave a comment. If you are new, make sure that you say hello. And I will see you guys in my next video. I really hope today you were able to receive a lot of spring cleaning motivation, giving you some great ideas on some things that you can get done around your home as well. Let your mind explore all the things we were created. Reaching out